right, so tonight we're going to take a look at Make Toys MTR M08 Despotron. Um, this is Make Toys' I guess version of an MP Megatron. Uh, the box is really nice. And it shows all the different faces that you get. It's super posable. You know, standard box stuff. But who cares about the box? You want to see what's in this. Let's get this thing out. All right, and here's Megatron out of the box. Now, first thing I'll go over is some of the stuff that it comes with it when you take it out of the box. So it does have an orange tip to go up into this barrel, and um, I'll show you what that looks like in gun mode, but hell with the orange tip. You also get this, which I, I will never use this. Uh, this replaces one of his hands for an Energon mace. It's, it's actually, it's really nice. It's translucent plastic, but it's, it's nice, and it's got that kind of sateen feel. And then um, a nice metal chain. You are getting sleepy. You want to hit the like button. And subscribe. That was weird. Alright, and then you've also got multiple faces. So this is the face that comes with him in the box. And then you've got... Let me see if I can make sure I get these in focus. 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 There you go. Oh, that zoomed in nice. Got these nice red eyes. It's almost like a Joker face. A little smirk. Somebody said something. And someone's going to die. So those are the accessories that comes with him. Uh, you also get his scope cannon arm, of course. Now this thing is articulated really, really well, and he's actually really heavy. And there's a, a couple of things about this that I love. So you got nice ratchets, right? You you know you've got good articulation in the hands. That these are the fingers are really tight, and this is gonna be really hard for me to do like re reaching around here. So I'm not gonna do it. The coolest thing that I found so far that I've never seen on another figure though. Yes, he's great. He's a great. G1 adaptation. Nope. Pretty sure that's supposed to be flipped up. Anyway. On the bottoms of his feet. On his heels. This is so cool. He has rubber pads. To keep him from sliding. When you have him posed. So you pose him somewhere. Ah! Well, that's that's one thing we'll talk about. The accordion. Um, if you've got him posed in a decent pose, unlike this one, um, he's not going to slide on you. He's got those rubber soles in his heels, those the rubber pads in his heels, and he's really heavy. Like there's that, there's die cast in here for sure. There's die cast in here, and he's a good solid chunk of a bot. Um, I could not be happier with this. I, the only MP Megatron I have is MP5, and I'm not even bringing him out to compare. So let's transform him. I am not going to do this on camera, because as you can probably tell, it's going to be a panel -y mess. And I feel like uh, that's every gun mode Megatron. has covered in panels to make the stupid handle, the grip on the actual gun, work. And it's ridiculous. There are some things about this uh, transformation that I'm going to point out now um, before we act before I actually transform him, and that is some of the things they did to try to stay accurate that are fake. So, on the tops of his shoulders, you have what looks like would either be um, the the trigger, which it wouldn't be if it's looking at the G1 version, but look like it would be the hammer when you pull back the hammer on a gun these aren't actually needed so you actually can have megatron look like that if you don't want to have these flipped up and when you do do the transformation the actual hammer of the gun mode is actually in here and it's um and and has a texture to it whereas this is smooth this is just to look right 
that's a nice little nod. I wouldn't have even noticed that they did it except for the fact that you have to fold these down during transformation. They could have left it like this and I would have been happy. He would have had nice boxy square shoulders and I would have been fine with that. But the extra nod to do that's cool. Um, also, replacing the face. So this helmet just pops right off. And then you can pull his face off. Uh, and there's a slot right there and a slot on the back of the face. I'm doing this one-handed through the eye of a camera. So bear with me. Uh, I haven't used this face, so it looks like uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be tight. Well, pretend I pulled out a different face. We're just gonna pretend. I'm gonna keep his normal face anyway. So normal face. Slide his head. Ah! Slide his head. There you go. That slides off all the time. So I'm going to transform him and we'll come back for gun mode. All right. So now here we have third party MP Megatron in gun mode. And you will see. Uh, he's not, he's not to scale. <laughs> a little squeaky here. Need some oil on that trigger. Um, uh, so you do have, there's, I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bit of red inside the scope. Uh, he is not to scale for one of these guns. That is way bigger than, and it's, it's hard for me to get my hand and show you, like, how big this thing is. Uh, you can remove... The orange tip, if you want to have it displayed, you know, another way, you know, maybe back like that or something on a wall. But really, you're not buying this for the gun mode. And really, do you ever buy a Megatron for the gun mode unless it's G1? Really? So there's gun mode. Uh, this is a panelly mess. Some of this is, is really scary. Um, getting this open here the first time i thought i was going to tear that off and now i feel like my finger just like ripped open to, to hide the head it's a cool transformation it just scares the shit out of me get the p38 and i'm pretty sure um i saw toy hacks makes a upgrade kit for this that i might actually get not for all of it. Like, I know everybody likes the Megatron with the squiggles across his chest. I'm not doing that. I think the squiggles look stupid. I said it. I said what I said. So here's gun mode. Now let's uh, transform him back to robot mode and take a look at some other stuff. Okay, we're back out of gun mode. And I want to show off a couple of size comparisons. So first and foremost, here he is next to my... KO Masterpiece Soundwave. Perfectly sized. Now, I don't have very many Masterpiece figures. Really, I've only got like three. Um, but I do have an oversized Masterpiece figure, so let's take a look at him next to uh, MPP-10 Optimus Prime. That doesn't look right. Uh, let's go mainline for a second. So here is Studio Series uh, 86 Grimlock. Just so you can get some scale. <laughs> um, maybe we'll throw one more in there just to kind of make this funny. Uh, here is Earth Mode. Earth Mode Prowl. There you go. So that's what he looks like for scale. Time to clean this up. Okay, so some final thoughts on this version of Megatron. So first and foremost, I got this from... TF Source during Black Friday sale for 60 bucks. That's all that figure cost. That figure is an amazing deal at its current price, which I think it's like 120, but getting it 50% off on TF Source for 60 bucks, I could not pass this up. I did ask um, a couple of our YouTuber friends, so I asked, uh, you know, like Kato said this is a really good figure. So, um, you know, I. When it comes to the third party stuff, I ask other people because I don't know shit. So, you know, I could not 
be happier with this figure. It's going to, you know, definitely just be displayed and put up with the rest of the MP figures. I, like, I have MP Soundwave over there. I have all the, the cassettes. I have an MP Trax KO that's better than the Hasbro original because it actually has rubber tires and some other things. I've got the MP P10 Optimus Prime. Sooner or later, I'll have some more stuff, some, some other Masterpiece scale stuff, and it'll be cool one day, one day. So, uh, final thoughts on this figure is, um, apparently this guy goes on sale on TF Source all the time, and if you can get him on sale, get him on sale. The only, the only gripe I have is that he doesn't come with the barrel extension or the stock, and I've tried to look it up, and it doesn't look like anybody ever made one, like the MP5 Megatron that I have, the, there are, there was a third party company who made the stock and the barrel extension, the, the silencer, but I never bought it because it's MP5 and MP5 fucking sucks. Uh, this guy, on the other hand, would be amazing with the stock and the extension and put him up on the wall. And it looks like something I'll probably either have to find in 3D print or design in 3D print. And if I do that, of course, those files will always be available for free. Um, if you ever get this figure and I ever get around to designing it, it's been, times have been slow lately. But yeah, if you can pick this guy up, you, you pick him up. You pick him up, and, you know, he's going... If you don't already have a decent Hasbro overpriced MP Megatron, he's going to fill you that void for you. Unless you're... Unless you absolutely have to have all Hasbro. But if you're okay with third party, this is the figure to get. So, on that note, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, YouTube, 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 and I'm out.